Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this session, we will try to find a new kind of differential equation. We will find the solution of that differential equation named as Euler Cauchy Linear Differential Equation. After this discussion, we will move on to some problem solving session. That is, we will try to solve some previously asked questions from this topic that is differential equations which were asked in the uh, examination such as the CSIR net, gate etc. So once again welcome all to my new video. Euler Cauchy homogeneous linear differential equation. This is actually a general kind of differential equation whose general form is given by a n x raised to n d n by d x raised to n of y plus a n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 d n minus 1 of y by d x raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus the last term will be a 0 x raised to 0 y equal to phi of x. This is a general form of uh, Euler Cauchy homogeneous linear differential equation. You can omit this x and we, we can simply say a 0 y equal to 0 equal to phi of x. This is the general form of Euler Cauchy differential equation. If we encounter a term in which n is equal to 2 then we can take this to second order differential equation and mostly in our syllabus we are only concerned with this kind of differential Euler Cauchy differential equation in which the power of x is 2 that is simply n is equal to 2. In order to solve this kind of differential equation we have to do some substitution then this entire equation will be converted into a familiar form. So, we have to make a substitution that is we should put x is equal to e raised to z. We are assigning a new term or a new variable called as z. Then we can rearrange or simply we can resubstitute this z as z is equal to log x. We will need this for back substitution. So, from this result we can put this x in this equation and rearrange this equation. I am not taking all the, these steps because that is not needed. We just want to arrive at the final differential equation. So, this equation will result in uh, this equation will give some results that is if we encounter a term such as x into dy by dx we can simply substitute it as dy. Then what do you mean by d? d is nothing but the differential operator but in this case it is not dy by dx or d by dx it is actually d by dz because we substituted e raised to z in terms of uh, x or instead of x we substituted z. So the entire operator these terms will all change to a new variable or in terms of new variable z. Similarly, if we encounter another term that is x square into d square y by dx square then we can write it as d into d minus 1 of y. Again if we have some third power term if, or if, if, if we encounter a third order differential equation which has x cube into d cube y by dx cube then we can resubstitute it as d into d minus 1 into d minus 2 of y. In such a way we can solve the uh, Euler Cauchy homogeneous linear equation of any order. Say if we have a term such as x raised to n we can substitute this results up to that n value and we can arrive at the solution. In this way we will rearrange the equation. Once we get the rear, rearranged equation in the form of a linear equation that we encountered in second order differential equation with the constant coefficients. So, we can easily solve that equation that is considering the uh, homogeneous part and the uh, 
particular integral part we will get the entire solution that is complementary solution and a particular integral. So this is the way in which we convert our Euler Cauchy homogeneous equation into our non form which is linear uh, second order differential equation. I think you got my point. Now we can move on to an example to show how we can convert this equation into linear form and solve that. Solve x square into d square y by dx square minus 2x into dy by dx minus 4y equal to x raised to 4. Clearly we know that this is of the form of Euler Cauchy differential equation. So we have to do the substitution x is equal to e raised to z so that d by dz will become the operator d and also we know that x into dy by dx is nothing but d operating on y and x square into d square y by dx square will give d into d minus 1 y. Substituting these result to the given differential equation we will get d into d minus 1 into y minus 2 is a constant. So 2 into d operating on y minus 4y equal to x raised to 4. Now rearranging this will give our uh, correct differential equation of the form of linear that is this will give d square and here is a minus t and here is a minus 2d. This will give d square minus 3d minus 4 operating on y equal to x raised to 4. Now this is a non-homogeneous linear differential equation. We can find the complementary solution that is complementary function and particular integral. So in order to find the complementary function, we have to find the auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation is given by m square minus 3m minus 4 equal to 0. Keep in mind that this d does not stand for d by, d by dx but instead this d is given by d by dz. So our variable will, will involve z instead of x. So finding the solution of this auxiliary equation we will get m minus 4 into m plus 1 equal to 0 or m is equal to 4 minus 1. Therefore, our solution for complementary function will give cf is equal to c1 e raised to m1 that is 4 into z instead of x the variable is z plus z2 e raised to minus z. This will be our complementary function. So, to find the particular integral we know that this is of the form x raised to 4 but instead of x we have to substitute z. So x will become e raised to 4z. So this is of the form of exponential. So we have to write it in the form 1 by f of d into e raised to az where f of d is nothing but here already we have, uh, we have written this in the form d square minus 3d minus 4. So the solution of particular integral will be given by particular integral is equal to 1 by f of d is this term. Substituting the value of a here we will get 16, uh, 4 square 16 minus 4 into 3, 12 minus 4. But this term will become 0. So this entire term will be infinite. We cannot take that. So similar to the uh, same procedure we have uh, already encountered in the uh, non-homogeneous form we have to substitute or we have to find the derivative term that is here particular integral is given by in the earlier session we multiplied with x but here the variable is z so it is given by z into 1 by f dash of d is equal to a e raised to a z that is given by z into 1 by f dash of d is nothing but 2d minus 3 here it is f, f dash of d at d is equal to 4 e raised to 4 z which is given by z e raised to 4 z divided by 8 minus 3 is 5. So our particular integral is given by z e raised to 4 z divided by 5. Now full solution or the complete solution is given by y is equal to c1 e raised to 4 z plus c2 e raised to minus z plus z e raised to 4 z by 5. But we know that 
our original equation does not contain this z. So we have to substitute back to x. In, for that we know the transformation x is equal to log uh, e raised to z. Therefore z is equal to log x. So we can use this result here which will give the final result as y is equal to c1 e raised to 4 z is equal to e raised to 4 log x. Isn't it? 4 log x can be uh, 4 log x can be rewritten as log x raised to 4. So this exponential and logarithm got cancelled not cancelled actually operation uh, opposite operation. So we will get x raised to 4 plus same result can be applied here e raised to minus z is equal to log x e raised to minus log x can be written as plus log 1 by x. So this got uh, operated and we will get 1 by x. So we can apply this result to the second term that, that is given by c2 by x plus instead of z we can write log x and instead of e raised to 4z we can write x raised to 4 divided by 5. So final result will be c1 x raised to 4 plus c2 by x plus x raised to 4 log x by 5. This will be our final result of the given differential equation. Hope you got my point. This is very important some uh, frequent, frequently asked in some examinations. So keep in mind to uh, uh, solve this kind of differential equation. Okay. So far we have tried to identify different types of differential equations both first order and second order. We tried to find the solution of these differential equations uh, and uh, we tried some problems. Now let's move on to solution of some previous questions. So now I tried to solve some of the previously asked questions from uh, CSIR net gate etc. Let's move on to the first question. The solution of the differential equation x into dy by dx plus 1 plus x into y equal to e raised to minus x with the boundary condition y of x is equal to 1 equal to 0 is. That is here we have to solve this differential equation. This is recently asked that is in June 2019 and options are given. So we can use different results here. Uh, we can either use the Euler result. Uh, or we can use the linear first order linear differential form. I am using the linear differential form because it is much easier to find the solution. So in order to make it linear we have to omit this term that is x term from the coefficient of the first derivative term. So I am dividing x throughout this equation then we will get dy by dx plus 1 plus x by x the whole into y equal to e raised to minus x by x. Now this is of the form uh, dy by dx plus p of x into y equal to r of x. Okay. Now we can find the integrating factor. I hope uh, you already uh, remember about the um, integrating factor and so. So let us try to solve. So the integrating factor is given by e raised to integral p dx. Okay. So here p is given by 1 plus x by x. So I am splitting it as 1 by x plus 1 dx. So this can be split into two terms that is e raised to integral 1 by x dx into e raised to integral dx. This will give e raised to log x and this will give e raised to x. But e raised to log x is x. So we can write it as x e raised to x. So our integrating factor is nothing but x e raised to x. Now solving the entire differential equation that is the solution is given by solution is given by y into integrating factor is equal to integral of integrating factor into r of x dx. Here y into integrating factor is x e raised to x equal to integral of integrating factor is x e raised to x and r of x is the right hand side of the given differential equation which is e raised to minus x by x. Keep in mind that this is the RHS only after converting it into linear form. Before it was not linear form. So we divided throughout by x then only it became 
linear so then the right hand side is given by e raised to minus x by x dx so this will got cancelled and it will be just integral uh, dx plus c so the final result is y into x c raised to x equal to x plus c in order to find the c we can use the boundary condition given that is y of x is equal to 1 equal to 0 if we put y equal to 0 lhs completely vanishes and x is equal to 1 that will give c is equal to minus 1 so the final result is given by so the final result is given by y into x e raised to x equal to x minus 1 so taking this to the right hand side we will get y is equal to x minus 1 by x into e raised to x is there any option similar to this let's try x minus 1 by x e raised to minus x so the option a is the correct one x minus 1 by x minus 1 by x into e raised to x that is option a is correct so i hope you got the point this was asked in 2019 june net okay moving on to the second question the question is given by in terms of arbitrary constants a and b the general solution of the differential equation x square into d square y by dx square plus 5x into dy by dx plus 3y equal to 0 is so in order to solve this first we have to identify the type from these two terms itself it is clear that this is of the form Euler Cauchy differential equation so we have to do the substitution x is equal to log uh, sorry x is equal to e raised to z and d by d z is equal to operator d and also x square into d square y by d x square is equal to d into d minus 1 into y and x into dy by dx is equal to dy substituting all these to the given differential equation we will get d into d minus 1 of y plus 5 is a constant into dy plus 3y equal to 0 so we can rewrite it as d square plus 4d plus 3 the whole operating on y equal to 0 now we can convert it into auxiliary equation form that is m square plus 4m plus 3 equal to 0 this is simply given by m minus 1 into m minus 3 is equal to sorry m plus 1 into m plus 3 is equal to 0 or m is equal to minus 1 minus 3 now the solution of this auxiliary equation is given by these are distinct roots so we can find the solution as y is equal to c1 e raised to m1 here it is not x but z so we already changed the variable from x to z so this is given by c1 e raised to minus z plus c2 e raised to minus 3 z since the uh, constants are all already given as a and b we can substitute it instead of c1 and c2 and also we have to substitute back for x so we can resubstitute z is equal to log x and make it in terms of x so this is given by so we can substitute instead of c1 we can write a that is a e raised to minus log x plus b e raised to minus 3 log x 3 log x is nothing but minus 3 log x is uh, 1 by x cube this is 1 by x this since it is given by y is equal to a by x plus b by x cube this is the final result now we can check for the options a by x plus b by x cube so option d is the correct answer so for this question option d is correct i hope you got this the third question is given by consider the following difference ordinary differential equation d square x by dt square plus 1 by x d by dt the whole square minus dx by dt uh, equal to 0 with the boundary conditions x of t is equal to 0 equal to 0 and x of t equal to 1 equal to 1 the value of x of t at t equal to 2 is this was asked in 
net June 2018. So at first glance we may be confused because we didn't encounter any problem involving the powers of differential term or the degree of differential term more than 1. So in this case if we check here the first order term that is dx by dt is squared. We cannot directly solve this differential equation. So we have to convert it into most familiar form by uh, using any kind of arrangements. So in this case I am giving out an arrangement as for this solution I have to make an arrangement. So I am giving an arrangement as 1 by x into d by dt of x into dx by dt minus dx by dt equal to 0. Is this equal to the given differential equation? Let us check. 1 by x into d by dt of this is actually a product term. So, first function x into d by dt, d by dt of dx by dt is d square x by d t square. Second order derivative, first order then taken derivative again. Plus uh, second function that is dx by dt into derivative of this term that is dx by dt minus dx by dt equal to 0. So rearranging this we will get 1, uh, 1 by x and x got cancel and we will get d square x by dt square plus 1 by x will be here 1 by x dx by dt into keep in mind that this is a product not an operation. So we can write it as dx by dt the whole square minus dx by dt equal to 0. This is actually the given differential equation. So I can use this result or this arrangement to solve our differential equation. Now this can be taken as equation number 1. From different uh, equation number 1 if I multiply entirely by uh, this x in the numerator we will get d by dt of x into dx by dt minus here an x can be multiplied so it will become x into dx by dt equal to right hand side is still 0. Now I would like to change my variable because here this is the term and exactly the same term is here. So I can make a substitution as x into dx by sorry dx by dt x into dx by dt equal to y. If I put x into dx by dt equal to y then this equation equation number 2 will become d by dt of y minus y equal to 0 or simply dy by dt minus y is equal to 0. Now we can simply solve this differential equation. So this is simply a variable separable so equation we can solve it as dy by dt equal to y or we can take this to this side and it will be uh, dy by dt equal to or dy by y is equal to dy by y is equal to uh, dt and integrating this will be a constant will be added. So if I take this constant as log because here we have a log so in order to complement it I am also taking the constant of integration as logarithmic. So log y is equal to uh, log c plus t or t plus log see this will be our result. So if we want to take this to this side we can make another change that is c log y minus log c equal to t or log y by c equal to t. If I take uh, the exponential operation we will get y is equal to c e raised to t. This will be our required uh, general solution. Now 
but we already substituted this y this was not our exact variable we substituted y is equal to x into dx by dt so we have to substitute back this here that is x into dx by dt equal to c e raised to t okay now we can again make it variable separable so that x into dx will become c e raised to t dt we can integrate here integrate here and will be another integration constant c dash so this is given by x square by 2 is equal to c e raised to t plus c dash now we can find so for convenience let me uh, give c is equal to c1 and c dash is equal to c2 for our convenience so x square by 2 is equal to c1 e raised to t plus c2 now we have to give our boundary conditions uh, so the first condition is that at t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 so substituting this we will get uh, at x is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 and this will become c1 plus c2 so our first condition will be c1 plus c2 equal to 0 now for the second condition at t equal to 1 at t equal to 1 it is given that x is equal to 1 so substituting it in this equation we will get 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to c1 c1 e plus c2 so rearranging it we will get c1 e so that is c1 e plus c2 equal to 1 by 2 so these are two equations that is two linear equation with the two variables this is a and this is b adding and subtracting subtracting these two will give the solutions of c1 and c2 so simply we can solve this that is equation b minus a and b plus a will give two results and from these results we can arrive at c1 is equal to 1 by 2 into e minus 1 and c2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 into e minus 1 we can easily solve this and arrive at this result now substituting these two equations or these two values in our this equation this is our final equation involving the constants so we will get x square by 2 is equal to c1 e raised to t isn't it so instead of c1 we can write this value that is c1 uh, e raised to t by 2 e minus 1 plus c2 instead of plus c2 we can use this result that is minus 1 by 2 e minus 1 2 got cancelled and we will get x square equal to e raised to t minus 1 by e minus 1 isn't it now we have to find the value of x at t is equal to 2 at t equal to 2 so at t is equal to 2 x square will become e square minus 1 by e minus 1 which is equal to this can be uh, expanded in terms of a square minus b square that is e plus 1 into e minus 1 by e minus 1 now cancelling e minus 1 term we will get this is actually x square x square is equal to e plus 1 or x is equal to root of e plus 1 this is our final required result now we can check for this in the options let me check this in the option root of e plus 1 yes there is root of e plus 1 is here so option c is the correct answer so we can finalize that option c is the correct answer for this question i hope you all got the idea now let's try another question given d square f of x by dx square minus 2 into d f of x by dx plus f of x is equal to 0 
and boundary conditions f of 0 equal to 1 and f of 1 equal to 0 the value of f of 0 0.5 is this was asked in gate examination in 2018 now this is actually a fairly easily question it's actually a direct question we can simply find this is a homogeneous first order differential second order differential equation and instead of f of x you can either substitute y or you can solve it directly by keeping f of x itself so if i try to write the auxiliary equation i can write it as so that is for solution if i write the auxiliary equation i will get m square minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0 that is m minus 1 the whole square is equal to 0 or m is equal to 1 1 these are actually repeated roots in case of repeated roots the general solution is given by y or here it is f of x so f of x is equal to c1 plus c2 x into e raised to uh, plus 1 that is e raised to x e raised to x now we can find the boundary condition or we can use the boundary conditions to find uh, the required result so if we try to find the boundary condition that is given by f of 0 equal to 1 applying this to this equation we will get 1 is equal to uh, this is 0 that is c1 c1 is equal to 1 now f of 1 is equal to 0 implies 0 is equal to c1 plus this is actually 1 that is c2 e if we take this e to the left hand side we will get c1 plus c2 equal to 0 or c1 is equal to minus c2 which will imply c2 equal to minus 1 therefore the final solution is given by f of x is equal to c1 plus c2 x that is 1 minus x the whole raised to whole into e raised to x now we can substitute for uh, instead of x we can substitute f of 0 0.5 that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5 into e raised to 0 0.5 that is which is numerically equal to 0 0.81 you will get the virtual calculator for gate examination so don't worry about that uh, you can substitute it and round off it up to a two decimal place and the result is given by 0 0.81 okay let's move on to the final question of this session that is uh, consider the differential equation dy by dx plus y tan x equal to cos x if y of 0 equal to 0 y of pi by 3 is dash that is we have to round it up to two decimal place again this is uh, again a fairly uh, easy question this was asked in gate 2017 so in order to solve this first we have to identify the type of differential equation this is actually a first order linear differential equation with the of the form dy by dx plus p of x into y equal to r of x here p of x is equal to tan x first we have to find the integrating factor integrating factor is equal to e raised to integral p dx is tan x dx which is equal to e raised to log mod sec x which is equal to sec x now the solution is given by y into integrating factor is equal to integral of integrating factor into r of x dx which is given by y into sec x equal to integral of sec x into cos x dx plus c that is y into sec x equal to sec x is 1 by cos x cos x cos x got cancelled and we will get integral dx is equal to x plus c now we can apply the boundary condition the first boundary condition is given by y of 0 equal to 0 that is c 0 is 1 by cos 0 equal to 1 
that is equal to 0 y uh, 0 into this term equal to 0 and x is equal to that is y of 0 equal to 0 which will imply 0 is equal to 0 plus c or c is equal to 0. Now we have to find the value of y pi by 3 that is x is equal to pi by 3. Substituting this here we will get y into sec pi by 3 equal to pi by 3 plus c is equal to 0. So we just want to write pi by 3 only pi by 3. Now we know that sec pi by 3 equal to 2 or 1 by cos pi by 3 we can easily find that is y into 2 is equal to pi by 3 or y is equal to pi by 6. If we convert it into 3.14 divided by 6 we will get 0 0.52. So this will be the final result of this differential equation and that is rounded up to 2 decimal place. I hope you got this result. So from last three sessions we tried to introduce you to the world of differential equations. We try to understand the types of differential equations, uh, how we can solve this differential equation and we try to find the solutions of some previously asked questions from these topics. So if you try to understand the pattern of the uh, examination, you may find that uh, for net or gate or just for any examination, at least one question is uh, frequently asked from this differential equation. Uh, I think uh, this is actually a very simple topic and also uh, through practice you can easily achieve uh, to a state that uh, whatever type of question will be asked you can easily solve this. So I think this three session, uh, uh, the, this group of three uh, lectures uh, may help you to find uh, the solution of differential equation type questions uh, that are asking uh, that have been asked from the uh, last uh, 10 years and you, if you check the question papers from last 10 years you will find that uh, at least one question have been asked in uh, every question paper so i hope this session will be very helpful to, helpful to you uh, so in the coming sessions we will discuss the uh, other topics that is uh, uh, from the mathematical physics itself uh, complex or um, i think metrics and uh, again uh, numerical techniques, group theory, lots of topics has to be covered. So in the coming sessions, we will discuss about these topics. So till then, goodbye, have a good day.